Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more Rogue Legacy, where I'm still having a few problems with actually recording, but we're gonna give this another shot anyway. I'm gonna go with the Spell Thief this time, and my goal today is to try and take down the boss. I did do one test run, just to see how far I can make it, and I didn't make it particularly far because the Land of Darkness, in case you didn't know, it's hard. So I am actually going to go ahead and I could upgrade my armor. I'm going to tap Defy Death once just to see if it opens anything else in the skill tree. It doesn't. At least not at this point. I would love to upgrade my Spell Thief, but I have to get there first. Now I do have possibly some new items that I haven't equipped yet. Like I could try and put on the Guardian Limbs and that will upgrade my armor significantly. And armor is helpful. I could also try and... I'm wearing a crit damage... Uh, cape which doesn't do a lot of good but I can't really afford to put something else on so we're gonna stick with that I don't have all of my enchants right now mainly because I have not found a cloak enchant that I particularly like but otherwise we're doing okay with what we got I'd love to have a few more grace enchants but for now you can see I'm still getting a little bit of lag frame rate stutter I'm not the only person it seems who's had this problem since either some Windows update or some rogue legacy update so I apologize if there is some slowdown in this video. There's not a lot I can do. Hopefully it doesn't affect my play too much. So this is not how I like to start a room. Let's reset. That's better. Alright, so I do start with daggers, which are pretty nice. Once again, though, I'm not a fan of the slowdown there. But I'm just going to poke and see what's in these side rooms. Not much there. Mainly looking for chests. Because I do need to level up just a little bit, probably. Probably be a little more comfortable taking on the boss of the Land of Darkness if I was closer to level 70. But I was pretty close last time. Just some very poor jumping management. As we almost had some, some more jumping management issues there. As you can see, I'm getting some frame stuttering and stopping. I'm not sure why. So let's see here. I have all the dire entries. Bibliophilia is the achievement, except for one. So, it's, there's one that is conspicuously missing, and the last one was just a bunch of dots, so... Larger rooms, some slow down, that's not good. They said this could affect my ability to play. Because this game isn't terribly resource intensive, but... I do have problems with some games where if I, as I went over last time, if I try and... record certain types of games, depending on how I record it, there's a lot of slowdown. So, I'm gonna have to really watch it here. And just hope that I don't get myself killed. Now, I do not have the ability I had last time to dodge spikes, so the Spell Thief may not be the best ever this week for taking on the boss, but we're going to go and see what's in the Land of Darkness anyway. If I can find it, maybe, or if I can find the boss portal relatively quickly, maybe I'll grind it a little bit. For now, though, we got a lot of slimes, and I can dagger these slimes to an extent. Alright. Fortunately, every melee swing restores mana, so I can actually use these daggers quite a bit. So I'm really liking that aspect of the Spell Thief. And he hits decently hard enough, too. So high spell damage. Fortunately, you guys are too short to get daggered. And these guys fart little bits of fire as well. But I've seen them shower, try and shower me in gold, too, so... Good practice for the boss, because you can see last time I did have some problems dodging the slimes. That's really what did me in more than anything. Okay, so Ninja Stars. Oh man, I was not expecting him to fly back at me like that. Let's see if I can knock him out. There we go. A little lower on the health spectrum than I'd like. Hey, Zomboner. Oh, this is not a good combo. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And this is why the Land of Darkness is serious business, as there's an enemy stuck in the floor, which tells me maybe there's a secret wall I can go to. But I need to get used to taking on these mages, because I've got to be able to do it for the boss, but no go there. Sir Whizzler has died to the Dark Stallion, and I don't even think I got enough money for it to matter. So he is the Valiant Spell Thief. So let's see here, Lich King, Barbarian King. Lich King's alright. Let's do... Let's do the insane trouble reading things guy. So dementia, dyslexia. Unfortunately, dyslexia doesn't really show here, but yeah, I didn't farm nearly enough gold. So it may be time for me to try and farm the boss. I don't know. I could try and do some farming runs to try and 
level up as I know some of you are going to say, oh my god, dyslexia is so terrible. Um, Castle Hampson. I do wish that it was a little bit more consistent carried through. Like, view the map anytime doesn't change. Some of the gold pop-ups don't change. But wow, that is some serious slowdown that I just hit there. And that's not, I'm not saying that because those fires are going slow, even though they are. Oh, Jesus. Well, that was just my own fault. Okay, but turkey leg to save the day. Now, I do have a high health pool here. But not a super high health pool. Okay. Not a fan. Would love to maybe get a fairy chest or something that'll let me get an enchant here, but for now, we're just gonna go over here. This is a health shrine. Could be useful for later. Alright, so how are we going to do this? This is the ones I'm pretty terrible at. Just got to stay calm. Stay calm. There we go. Oh god, i got to get through all the way through that again. Okay. So just all the way back through. If I had dwarfism, I could go over the top. But right now I'm just looking for the land of darkness. And the next two rooms are going to be a little irritating to get back up. But I'm alright. Well, not this one. But now I've got to jump up here. Somehow missed. Alright. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we've got some friendly fire up and down. It's like I said, I'm just trying to go down. Ooh, I ran. That was so stupid bad damage. But I have a lot of life, so I can make up for it. As once again, I am unfortunately not going the right way. So this is a little bit more of a farming run than maybe I meant, but we do get some gold. Try and do that again. I do like that you can air dash in this game. Cut a little closer there than maybe I should have. But... So we get the slowdown game again, but it's not as bad. I'm playing this in windowed mode now instead of full screen. Oh, oh, bad, bad, bad. All around bad. Can't blame slowdown on my stupidity. I do not think... Okay, that goes down to a chest. Probably just gold, so we're going to skip it. Go ahead and kill you, might as well. And yeah, this is where... Okay, so if I had gotten the lich guy that had the raven, I could have actually killed him, but I can't. So that's a little bit of a shame. Okay, that's a, actually a little tricky. So we're just going to keep trying to stay on the bottom here. So here's first boss, turkey leg, to restore completely. I haven't been using my barbarian rebel yell. But eventually that, uh, I feel like I paid a little, maybe a little too much for an extra 10% gold. It felt like a good investment at the start. That's a lot of gold I'm going to have to make up, but eventually it will pay for itself. I tell myself. Of course, if I keep doing what kind of feels like an underleveled run, let's see if maybe the land of darkness is this way. Because I don't want to go into rooms that can really screw me up and just have to waste my time there. So there we go, we have two potential entrances to the land of darkness, and I'm at full health. Cool. So what's this room? Probably scary spikes in the bottom, yep. Okay, so what do we got down there? Just good places for kids to play, and there is a spike friend, okay. Not really a fan of either of these rooms, if I had to say. And those go through walls, so we're going to have to bullet hell this like hell. Okay. So y'all know what a lot of damage looks like? That's what a lot of damage looks like. Alright. So if we just take our time, we can possibly clear through this. There's a lot of audio cues. Somehow those guys really screw me up every time. Oh, we're not going to do it. Yes, we are. Okay. New rune! A curse rune. Not really what I want. The last thing I kind of need is uh, this area to be harder. I guess I could use grace runes and make things easier, but... For now, I think we're just going to be trying to fight through. Let's go to the other side. At least I was able to get one fairy chest. Oh, God. I don't know how I floated on the air there, but I'll take it. So one pyrite. I can take you on... So pirate's dead. I'm just trying to keep a close eye on what's in the next rooms over. We got a treasure chest here with a lot of spikes and some fire. I can see this being deceptively hard. Oh wow, that spike sort of hit me from the side. That stunk. 
But I do get Sky Bracers. I think getting out of here is actually going to be a little harder than it was to get in. Maybe not. Just triple jump and drop my way down. Hopefully Spike Friend. Okay, there's two of them. That's not pleasant. Pray for assistance. Yes, please. I'm going to confirm that. And I get Hyperion's Ring, which is awesome because that gives me an extra life. Great to have. Because in the Land of Darkness, I'm probably going to need it. So here, Headless Horse, Dark Stallion, whatever you call yourself. Oh god, and there's... There's fire, there's Zomboners. This is not a great place to hang out with your friends. And I do want to take on the Pyrite down here if I can. Because that other guy's not too much of a threat. Okay, we just gotta dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. The five Ds of Rogue Legacy. So he's not gonna do a ton of threats. But his little spear, when it does go like that, can't actually hit me, so... We'll just get the other pyrite over here. Just try and keep this a little simple. Like I said, I am a little under strength. Maybe there's a better weapon I could have. But these guys are level 60, so I am even conned with them. But remember, a lot of my levels... Oh god, there's a mage. Very poor timing there. Maybe I can take him out. That guy is taking a lot of hits. Oh wow, that was terrible damage as well. Take him out. Oh, where's, where's there another one? I guess where there's always one, there's more than one. Okay, so that just went from bad to worse. And we definitely don't want to play this game. Alright, so... What's really the end game for me right here? Right now it's probably that I'm gonna die, so I guess that's one way to look at end game, but I just mean what's my benefit of going through here? I am trying to farm a little bit of gold and I may be able to get something. Should I still be farming in the Maya? I don't know. Because right now I'm kinda getting my ass kicked. But if I can just pick my battles. That's a good start. So I can go to the left here. Oh, guns and bad things. And I am insane as well, so not all these enemies are real. And I'm not going to even mess with that fairy chest because it will kill me. What I'd much rather do right now is fight the boss. Or find the boss room. But chances are it's probably not up here at a dead end. So we'll just take you out. I probably could blade wall. But I didn't. See, let's drop down and see what we got. Maybe a boss room? No! Oh my god. That is a terrifying room with two treasure chests. I don't even think I can do that one. I don't even know if I can do that one with any character that I've ever had in this game. Okay, so. Usually the enemies that appear from Insanity are ones that, uh... Wait, is it Insanity or is it Dementia? Okay, I have Dementia, so I have see things that aren't there. Yeah, usually usually the dementia enemies are ones that totally don't belong in the level. Okay, don't wanna don't wanna mess with you too much. So my health's low, I'd love to get some turkey legs. Maybe something in the cage. So Zomboner there's just to ask him to eat it. Right, and we're back to the Pray for Assistance room. And we have the Grey Knight there, which... They attack a lot quicker. So you can't just mess around with them like maybe the uh, ones earlier in the game. Oh, Zomboner. Good trolling right there. I have two health left. I actually saw him before and thought... I think he's still up there. I don't think I got him. But we're at the boss room, so now we can... Uh, what do you call it? New Game Plus it? I don't know. There's no way I'm beating the boss with two health. So we're just going to get what gold we can, call 3,000 a good one, and see if we can get anything else. Actually, here's a health shrine. Okay, and what's in this room? Not a treasure chest, so I don't care. And actually, if I do remember right, there is another health shrine, but it's in such a difficult-to-reach place. So what's down in the bottom? Nope. Let's take on the boss. Good to get some practice in. I don't think this is who I want to fight it with, but if I have the ring, I might as well use it. So here, Dotus, I gotta remember, 
I'm insane in the membrane. I'm going to see things that aren't there. And more importantly, these spikes are going to be a factor this fight. Instead of last time where it won't. And maybe that'll help me keep a little more honest and stay on these platforms instead. And think about my position, because last time I was just eager to run through places as we have our first mage spawn. Bladewall is maybe not the ideal spell for this, but... Okay, that's a hefty jump. And I guess I could possibly yell these guys away. Okay, so air juggling, not working. Okay, running into slimes, not working. Getting spiked, not working. Alright, so some gold. Let's see if we can get some meat legs. If only the spikes damage these guys too, but they're apparently intelligent spikes. And these slimes jump so far. Oh wow, poked me really, really from a distance. Okay. So like I said, I fully expect to die here, so this is just going to be good practice. As try and clear the area just a little bit. These guys are going to split one more time though. Doesn't matter because I ran into it. I just went into there with so little health and we defy death. So is that going to save us? I really doubt it, but I do get a lot more health than I was expecting for defying death. Said so we got the item, we might as well use it. Whereas we almost died to spikes anyway as these guys are now just jumping around. I'll tell you what I need. I need a grace rune or I need a class that'll let me dodge damage like that. So almost something like, uh, okay, I was hoping for a meat like there so badly. Oh, it's gonna kill me. There we go. All right, well, two attempts and we're dead. Sir Jacob has been slain by Herodotus. I could try and grind a little more. What do I need? Lich Queen, Miner, or Archmage? Hmm, Archmage with Conflux. Uh, I do not like any of these, really. Uh, Lich Queen is going to require a little bit of farming. Let's try the Archmage, just to see if we can reroll something else. It's been a while since I played Archmage, too. I got 3,000 gold, which is pretty decent. Armor's going to be good, but I think getting more equipment upgrades is going to be a little more important. So what can I do to use 900 gold? I don't think there's a lot. I can increase my mana, which is pretty nice. And upgrade my crit chance or crit damage. Let's do that. Now, it does mean that I'm going to be leaving this bracer upgrade on the table. But I need 1800 gold for that anyway, or the limb upgrade. But at least I have that now. So we're going to try the uh, oh 60% gold. I guess it must be because I leveled up where uh, he takes more gold. So enjoy. Maybe we can get some treasures that an ancestors missed. I'll tell you what we're going to get. We're going to get the final boss. All right. So let's just go. Not the final boss. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and go to the Land of Darkness. I did actually manage to explore a lot of the Land of Darkness. Not all of it. And wow, that is uh, unexpected. There is a special chest there that wasn't there before, and I get a health upgrade. I did not know that happened because I'd already been in this room. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can do with the Archmage. Not my favorite class. Actually, the spell that I have here is going to be good for clearing a lot of space. But I'm, it sucks through mana so much, so I think just in terms of what I have, probably my best bet. Because it's going to take so many hits for me to take this guy down just a little bit. Whew. So first mage, first mage spam. No, the permaroided state's actually helping me a little bit more. Because this knockback's pretty nice. Unfortunately, these mages are dying very, very slowly. So I'm going to have to start thinking about casting some spells soon. Let's go ahead and do that. Just get the crazy roulette going. Because I will get some mana for some kills here. As this is just going to go round and round and round the room. Okay, come on now. Split up. Okay, so we're getting more mage trouble. Okay, 
so we find our mages are tucked in the corner. But I can't take that many hits, and I don't have that much mana left, so we're going to be getting a lot of mages, and we're going to have to just keep moving. So let's go crazy. Let's make this all around the room, and unfortunately I'm too busy squirting out things, so I die. That actually didn't seem like it was a terrible strategy for clearing the room. So not bad, not bad, but I think we got one more run in us to try and fight this guy. Um, yeah, let's try the Archmage again, because if I can... I'm going to try that and see. It's just a very different play, it, because my melee stuff's not working nearly as well. So we're going to try this one more time with the Archmage. Do I need to level up? Perhaps, I don't know. I feel like I'm at a level where I could be beating this guy. But maybe I am a little lower and need to focus on upgrading my stats and, because a lot of my levels are class upgrades instead. But I love that. It's it's a nice bow on this lady and then big ass archmage beard. Gotta love it. Okay, so Land of Darkness. What are our abilities for this person? I, oh, not that ability. So let's see here. Archmage Endomorph can't get knocked back. And what are our spells more importantly? Yes. Okay, good. So we are going to try and focus this time on just trying to make the room go crazy town. But I should be able to take Hero Dotus on early with just my sword. If I can just dodge. Okay, that was terrible damage to take at the start. Okay. So there we go, first guy. Nope. So I'm going to take out this mage first, we're going to try and keep it under control because the early fight's not so bad, it's when you got to start clearing out all these guys from over here. So let's see if we can bait them around. And I was hoping maybe at first that the Archmage wouldn't spawn if I was doing uh, magic damage, but that doesn't seem to be the case as we get a little bit of a critical. Okay, time to fly around this city. Okay, now we're, now we're in bad damage land, okay. I knew it was coming at some point. Let's go ahead and just go crazy. Is this a terrible move? Probably. Did I use most of my MP? Yes. Is it fun to hear the clang, 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 clang? Oh, absolutely. Because we're trying to use our magic power as best we can, but unfortunately... Now I have a bunch of tiny slimes, and they're not even their smallest form. So that, while it's nice in theory, it didn't really work. So let's see here. We're going to have to go maybe back to the drawing board on this boss. So yeah, we get a Lich Queen, we get a Miner, and we get a Spell Thief. I'm going to try this boss one more time with the Spell Thief, because Scythe's pretty nice. If I can get it, great. If not, we're just going to call this an episode. So yeah. I mean, I know some of y'all are like, why are you grinding this all the time? Just raise some levels. But I really feel like I'm almost there. I do. It's just if I can survive those last waves at the end. I wanted to try the Archmage because maybe high magic damage. Whoa, wrong, wrong place to teleport. But maybe I'll get another special treasure chest. Nope. All right, so we're going to give this another shot. No special chest this time little bit of lag which is concerning but at least every time I hit I will be able to uh, two hits will let me scythe so I'm gonna be scything quite a bit unfortunately scythe doesn't do a lot for enemies on the floor but scythe is gonna be fantastic for clearing out these mages and crap oh wow terrible damage Okay, so right away I'm making some key mistakes here. I'm just running into pretty much saying, please hug me, please hug me, I want to die. So meat stick at just the right time. But this room is getting really crowded really fast. Oh wow, that was a very, very lucky dodge. Okay, so right now I'm still in the game, barely. But at least I'm doing damage. We just gotta get our MP back up. I 
love Scythe, it's a great spell. Great for clearing areas, but I've got to just be more mindful of those damn slimes. So, I've got to do a better job dodging. Maybe I should focus on taking down one slime at a time and working my way down, splitting it, splitting it, splitting it. But for now, I've seen some... I've seen... I don't know. I've watched some Let's Plays of other people just clearing through things pretty well and I don't have their game skills I guess I don't know but that's Rogue Legacy it's not supposed to be easy but it's still fun so this is way to fail I think next time we will actually commit to farming a little bit get our stats up and see if we can do this again so I hope you all enjoyed it I will see you all next time